Well, so I checked my coolant with the help of a friend and the coolant is fine. So when I called my mechanic, he said, if your coolant levels are full, then it's, um, <sighs> then it's either a heating core or the thermostat. And that's definitely a job for a mechanic. And I'll have to do that at a garage. However, the plus side is I can drive. Now I have just over a half a tank of gas. I'm in Taos. I want to get to truth or consequence or truth or consequences, truth and consequences. I don't know. It's a cool name for a town. And it's got a lot of BLM land around it. So I'm gonna go ahead down there as close as I can get. I don't know. We'll see. And uh because I'm hoping it's like all downhill from here. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, let's see how far I get. Nugget is enthralled by the falling snow from the trees. <laughs> and off we go. I'm headed out of Taos. Look at those gorgeous mountains. I'll come back when it's warmer, I promise. <laughs> So I just stopped on the side of the road because I saw the view and then these teepees, look! It's this really cool factory outlet. I'm, I think I might go inside. Okay, so the place was not open and I'm laughing because I thought I had the video camera on and I didn't. <laughs> I did a whole thing and nothing. So Nugget and I are hitting the road. Uh, I got some cool pictures, so I'm psyched about that. And, um, whew. Okay, let's see. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, that's why. Never mind. Sorry, I was thinking like, I thought my oil light was on, I just hadn't started the engine. Oh my God, the oil light was not on. Everything's fine. All right, I am heading south. I will try to remember to turn the video camera on as often as I can on the way down so you can see what I see. All right, see you when we get there. This is campground number one, and I think it's free. Service is halfway decent, but I'm gonna keep looking to see if I can find a better spot. It's on the river, there's a nice walking trail, cross over the road here, and 
the river is down there. I'm gonna keep moving forward. There's a whole big giant lake here and it's early in the day. But this is a great spot and I would definitely come back to it. I checked my speeds. I think I'm pretty good. So this is definitely going to be a spot. If not tonight, then in the future. I decided to stop and see what this was all about because right here is the lake and I'm headed toward Elephant Butte which is just the next town over I don't know if you can see it but down there on the coast looks like there are some RVs parked I think I'm gonna go check that out not sure how to get down there yet, but we'll figure it out. And there she is. Ah. Really pretty view out the window. However, all right, so this is a pay campsite. This is the Elephant Butte Lake State Park. Um, it's very reasonable. So I could get an electric site, what was it? electric hookup developed sites with electric $14 per night that's really good that's really good and it's like on the lake very nice so I'm gonna keep going but this is nice to know because this is affordable um, and uh, yeah so I could come back here if I need to I need electricity, right? If I find out it's going to be cold, I can come here because I can run my space heater uh -uh. and not overpay. So this place, I'm going to keep this one in mind, but I'm going to turn around and keep looking. So here's another great one. This one's called Hot Springs Landing. It's got really incredible views of the lake. It's a really cool primitive site and the primitive sites are $8 a night. Even better. Um, however, right now, I only have $32. So, <laughs> I have to keep looking for one that's free. At least until some more money comes in. <laughs> so you can see the sites are, the sites are way down there past those structures like near where that bush is in the distance and it's just a really neat spot so I've pulled over here it's like kind of cool I've got a beautiful view all around you know However, I'm not sure if I'm in the state park or not. Um, this looks like this is the primitive site, but I'm not pulling down here. It's too sandy. It looks like it's an old site. It hasn't been used in a while. See the cover, but that's too sandy for me. There's a road that goes down here, and I was tempted. However, again, I'm a little bit nervous about it being, yeah, I can tell already. It's too sandy, and getting out of here would be difficult. I don't know if you can uh, see the road or not, yeah sandy so I think I'm gonna stay where I am right now I'm hungry and I'm sure Nugget would love to get out and run around it's an absolutely gorgeous spot and if anything I can get some painting done here and you know worse comes to worse if I have to leave here I can just go back to the Walmart but I got a feeling I'm gonna be okay at least for a night here we'll see Hopefully it's not paid camping, but $8, if, if that's what it ends up being, I can handle that, right? For one night anyway. 
I just checked the weather. It's like perfect, perfect van temperatures. Mid 70s to low 40s. Perfect. Great sleeping temps. Wake up, be toasty with your coffee in the morning, and then the sun comes out and warms up the van. You can open up the doors and circulate the air, and oh my God, I found heaven. I swear to you, I have found heaven. That's my view. Out the van door. The nugget is, whoops, there's her tail. <laughs> I mean, I can see vehicles down there. I, I don't think my vehicle can do that. <laughs> I think this is as far as I can go. But I could certainly hike down there and leave my van here. So, I'm excited. I think this is really cool. Nuggets already covered in dust. <laughs> oh, I'm thrilled. Nothing worse than playing guitar in the middle of the desert and breaking a string. And I was just tuning the guitar. That shouldn't have happened. Oh well. Cheap strings, I guess. Or bad strings. I've played strings for way too long for that to be me. That wasn't me. Well... I'll have to restring it with another string when I go to town and find a music store that I can get strings at. All right. So I'm sitting here staring at these mountains. And it dawns on me that it looks like there is a giant frog in the mountain. You see him? I mean, doesn't it? I know. Now, I know I'm not being crazy here. That's a frog, dude. That's a frog. So, I am eating some... Yeah, pardon the... Toilet paper. It just, it ends up everywhere. Toilet paper just moves around. Eating goldfish. And really just looking at this view I've got. And I haven't pulled out any pencils or paints or anything yet. Oops. Because... Right now, I'm in the observing the landscape stage of the painting. Yep, that's what it looks like today. <laughs> well, last night was a, a rough night for me. So, my beautiful, awesome friend, Maddie... Uh, ended up in the hospital. You know. So last night I was waiting to hear from him. And of course. I didn't really have all the details. So. He didn't call me till this morning. Um, it's okay. He's okay. He had a procedure done. But I didn't sleep well because of that. And, um, you know, I was up every few hours. And it was a really lit up Walmart. So it was like um, being in the land of the midnight sun, you know. And today I have found this beautiful spot. I was laying outside earlier, just like lounging and looking at this view, but it was getting too hot for my head and I want to get a sunburn. Um, so 
So I came inside. But this is the beauty of van life. And I love my freaking barn, barn doors. Because I can leave them open. Nuggets on her leash. She's been bouncing in and out. And uh, I get to look at the frogs while I lay here in my bed. Now I am enjoying my view. And I'm going to get a little bit of rest. So, I'm going to shut this off. So, it's been a long time since I've been in the van with the window covers off, with a great view, and, you know, not worried about insulation or any of that stuff. And as you can see, definitely got some sun um, being outside earlier today. So, I'm going to take it easy with that, just because, yeah. It's really this quiet. Every once in a while, I hear a bird. Right on cue. I'm watching what I think is a flycatcher. I'm not even going to try to shoot it. Well, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Let's see. So, he's on that bush over there. I don't know if you can see him. I'm hoping he gets up. Oh! Look at him go! Right on cue. Hey, you'd think I was paying these guys. <laughs> well, I know they're kind of far away. Um, oh, Nugget's not even noticing. She's like happy as a clam in the sand. She loves the sand. Just like rolls around, little paw prints everywhere. So, I just kind of took it easy today after all that driving I did. I was pretty whooped. And it was kind of stressful. But this place. <laughs> you know. I was telling my niece earlier today how all day long the light just keeps changing. It's so magical. And like earlier, I think I filmed that it. it's, it's earlier in this video. There was the frog in the mountain, right? And later I saw an otter sleeping and then an alligator. In a wild, and I started to think, I wonder if these are animal spirits that appear at different times of the day as guardians of this canyon. Kind of an idea. I don't know. So that's what I'm staring at. And I know I tried to zoom in on it earlier. It didn't seem to work well. I will try again. But yeah, if you can see. Well, I think you can maybe see where I saw the eyes of the bullfrog. Well, I took images as... The videos really didn't show what I wanted to show as far as the light was concerned for sunset. And really the magic was all in the mountains that I'm looking at. Ah. 
Well, today was a beautiful day of observation. Quiet observation. Truly, truly quiet. As you heard, there's like, I mean, now I'm getting birds. And I think it's that fly catcher that's been zooming around. Anyway. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the morning. And see if maybe I get some painting done tomorrow. Yeah. Good morning to the sun. Look at that. Uh, what a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Look at that. A little light sketch. And there it is. I know, not exactly the same, but close. I'm certain I've made the mountains bigger than they need to be, but it's the way they appear to me. The camera sets them way far back, but as I sit here, they appear closer. So, I paint what I see. What I see. Where's the night? She's fast. She wants me to play tag. However, I am not up for it in all of this brush. So I am going to head back to the van so she follows me. This is how this works. Because she wants me to go chase her. So she'll come back to the van. Just always makes me a little nervous. Nuggety nugget! Yes! Where's my girl? Where's the girl? So. She knows where I am. I just get a little bit nervous, although I can see everything above. You know, it's just the stuff below. <laughs> Well, deep breaths. I did not try to let her off leash. It was that she was sitting in my lap, pretending to take a nap. And when I took my hand off her, she bolted out the door in her very bouncy, playful way. So, I just now have to breathe and know that she will come back here, doesn't wander too far, it's just that it's a lot of brush and I can't see. After recovering Nugget and getting her back in the van, I decided to go for a walk, observing the beautiful blooms and grasses all around. Look at that yellow. Oh. Just amazing. And the little tufts of green amidst all of this sandy. Ooh, look at that tree. Oh. <laughs> There's the van. What a beautiful place.
Oh, I just think of it in terms of gouache, like a purling black with a teeny tiny bit of like a really, 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 really dark blue and then some zinc white and like bam, there it is. I know. I did a painting this morning. This is really neat. Good morning, everyone. That is the painting I did yesterday. That was the sketch that I showed you. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's video and join me for the next one. If you like the video, thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you consider doing so. Uh, the button is below. And if you'd like to contribute to the journey, it would really be appreciated. Funds are definitely on the low side. Uh, go check out my Instagram if you want to buy a painting. That would be fabulous. Um, the one that I just did is available still at this moment. So I'm shooting this video. <laughs> So go on over, check out what I've got. It's at The Inappropriate Artist. You can also just make a contribution below uh, through the links that I have below in the description. All right, oy vey. Sometimes you'd think I'd get used to saying this stuff over and over again. I just don't. It's always a trip over the tongue. Take care, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye.